Good morning, everybody. It's Micah, and I totally. Good morning, everybody. It's Micah, and I am here to do some crafting this morning. I uh, hope everybody's having a great morning. Uh, I've got my coffee, of course. Um, my kids are actually home today from school for a snow day, so I. We may have interruptions. We'll see what happens. I told him that I that I was uh, filming, but my one son's computer uh, sits right next to my desk, actually. And um, so I was like, can you stay off your computer for about 45 minutes? And he's like, oh, I guess, Mom. <laughs> so anyways, and I only did that because he tends to get chatty while he while he uh, games and likes to tell me about his game and what he's doing and stuff. And uh, I'm, he he is autistic and I'm not sure that he could not chat with me while he's in here. So um, so I asked him to just wait until I finish. So anyways, um, we're going to work on this journal again today. Our budget, our journal on a budget. We're going to work on this. And <laughs> I was sitting there last night and trying to remember. I was working on this journal um, that I'm working on getting finished up. And um, I remembered that I had gone through and pulled a ton of different like papers and stuff for that journal can't find the stack anywhere so but in the course of doing that I managed to pull some more stuff out for this journal so I thought I'd show you what I what I found I've got some trims and some lace um, because I want to do some things on the edge and so that's what this is for and we'll probably do that today because that'll be a that'll be a quick and dirty one this is actually um, from my uh, sewing business days. This is actually elastic. Look, it stretches. I think elastic is fun. I'm such a child sometimes. There we go. Anyways, this little thing right here, this is um, packaging from one of my daughter's um, little nail stickers. Um, so I stole it because I thought it was cute. And I, I can't get this out, obviously. Um, but this is this is so cute. See, these are the little nail stickers in here, and I'm going to take those out and give those back to her because I actually thought she had already removed them. Um, but and then I thought this would be really cute to just like cover it up, maybe do some decoupage with it, and um, make a little maybe a little tuck for in here or something. We'll see. So there's that. Set that up there. Um, these things right here are from a, a excuse me a paper pad a couple of different paper pads actually that I have and I thought these little words we might find something to do with them as we go and then as you can see I've already used part of these and then these little um now if I had it right side up these are just little um things to fussy cut and the colors um, on some of these are actually really nice for this journal and I thought even might use the teapot um, even though it's a coffee themed journal we'll see but like I said the um, the coloring and stuff on a lot of these are really nice um, to use in this journal so um, I went ahead and grabbed this and we'll probably use some of those and then I grabbed these two these are really thick so. Yeah, two different prints of, this is the Tim Holtz, um, like, wallpaper samples or something. Um, I got them at Hobby Lobby when his stuff is 40% off, which is, like, every other week. And that's the way their sales roll is, like, every other week something will be on sale. Like, it's fine. I just, I just randomly pop in and see where I'm at on the on the rotation but anyways so I thought both of these um might look nice uh in some collage or something um and then really I found just some more bits and bobs of paper this was a scrap I'm not going to use this down here but I thought this top piece would be nice um these are ones that I printed out um 
these are either from the printables group that I shared yesterday um, in the links of yesterday's video or um, like Creative Fabrica or something like that. But this one I thought looked like kind of a coffee mess. And then just the writing and stuff I thought was nice. Um, this one, I've used part of it. Just looks like old notebook paper. And it says, we must take adventures in order to know where we truly belong, which I really like. I think that's a really nice sentiment. This one, I thought, these are ones I thought just the colors would look nice. These are from Joann's. I think I got them when they were, I want to say 70% off because I, like I said, you guys, you know, I, I shop on a budget. I, I don't, I don't spend a ton of money on stuff. So there's those. And then this right here, this is, um, this is by Creative Memories, um, it says, thanks to you. So this must have been like some sort of like hostess gift or something. Um, it's called Storylines. And it's got, you know, all the different lines that you can trace on your, you know, on your pages or whatever. But the reason I grabbed this out is I want to do a flip with a curved edge. And I remember that I had this. I got this at a yard sale, you guys, for 50 cents. 50 cents. This thing is probably... Oh gosh, I think we all know how expensive creative memory stuff can be. I mean, that's these scissors are creative memories. And these are, I have been using these scissors for um, 20 years. Not this pair, but this type. Um, and I love them. And these are $5.50, which is not bad um, and worth it. I just, I absolutely adore these. And I actually bought two pairs last time I bought them. Um, cause my other ones disappeared. Surprise, surprise. Um, but so anyways, but we all know how to spend that stuff because I, I mean, so 50 cents is a killer deal for this. So I got that. Then I found this ribbon again from my sewing business days. It's got, I don't know if you can see, but it's got little white swirls on this kind of cafe au lait colored ribbon. I thought that would be great in there. And then I just... I pulled out some fabrics that I thought I want to do um, maybe some belly bands. Um, I might do another fabric flip in there. Um, I don't know. We'll see. But these were all ones that I thought kind of went nicely with the theme and colors of the journal itself. So that's that. I am done digging. Okay, at least for today. You guys, next video will probably be like, oh, look what I found. Just because that's how I roll. So what are we gonna do today? What are we gonna do today? Oh, we're gonna do trims. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take a drink first though. Okay. Now, today I'm using Fabri-Tac because normally I would probably sew the trims onto the pages. Um, that's what I did in this journal is I sewed, if you can see, where I did not sew well on this particular one, but um, I sewed them on the pages and that's probably what I would do. Um, that's what I would do normally. I'm not going to do that today, but I really want these to stay. Um, and I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. I haven't used the tacky glue enough to really know like how <laughs> my cats are losing their minds because the door is shut and I never shut the door in here. <laughs> So they're French doors that have um, glass panes in them. So I've got cats on each side fighting with each other. Sorry, cracking me up aside. And my dog also now is like, what are you doing, mom? You always let me come in there. How to confuse your animals in one easy step. Okay, anyways, let's get going. So first, I love this one. This is, I think, an old seam binding maybe. Um, got this in a whole bag of stuff at the thrift store for like a dollar. Um, and I love it so much. What, which one, you know, we haven't done much work back here. Let's put it back here. Do, do, do. Which page do we want to put it on? Do we want this to stick out a little bit? Do we want to make this sticky outy? Sticky outy. I'm pretty sure that's the official way to say it. Let me see. Let's just cut this baby right here. Or, or do we like it better on here? Uh, I don't know. This is super floppy, so it might make it. What do you guys think? I know. 
I, I, I should really like not expect to like hear you. I'm gonna try, that one's crooked. I'm gonna try that down. Although that does bring up, I've been thinking about doing live streams. What would you guys think of that? I don't think I love that. Let's see if we do it on, do, 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 do. That's better. Let's do that. Um, anyways, I don't know, what would you guys think about doing a live stream? It would probably be, you know, kind of early-ish in the day. Like I said, I'm in Southern, ooh, I had a volcano. I'm in Southern Indiana, so I am on, hmm, I don't know, Central Time, Eastern Time, something like that. I have to check, I'm horrible with that. Um, but, uh, so it would probably be, you know, early-ish in the day. This guy does not want to lay down. Um, I like that. That's pretty. That's pretty. And then let's do one up here that does actually sticky outy. What do you say? Maybe in our pink one? Let's do that. Um, so anyway, so I don't know. What do you guys, you know, what do you guys think time-wise? Um, would you even be interested in a in a live stream? It would probably just be um me randomly you know crafting doing whatever bouncing around as i do um let me know what you think okay there's those one second i gotta go i gotta go fix this cat issue okay sorry they're making me crazy so let's do this one Let's do a sticky, you know what, I just shut that, and yeah, I don't want that to get glued together. Oh, I think that's yeah, fine. It's fine. Let's do another one right here, and this one will stick out. I might do two sticky outy ones of this. Uh, well, no, I don't know. We'll just do one. We'll just do one. Yeah, I do wish that was a little bit stiffer, but I think it's okay. Okay, so there's that one. This one, this lace is $2.99. I probably got this at Joann's a million years ago. Um, I like this one, it's cute. Um, again, I buy the, when I buy stuff like this, I wait until I have a 60 or 70% off coupon because oh, y'all, we've talked about this. I'm cheap, I'm cheap. Let's do it on this page. And we're gonna do this one, a sticky outie. Sticky outy. That's what I call um, Dutch braids. My daughter likes it when I do Dutch braids in her hair. And we call them sticky outy braids. <laughs> sticky outy. I'm actually going to. Mm -hmm, I need a piece of paper right here because this paper has holes and I don't want to glue behind it. Oh, goober. Glue goober. There we go. Oh, that's so pretty. I love that lace or that trim, whatever. It's just so pretty. So, uh, do its thing there for just a second. Okay, so there is a sticky outy there. It doesn't sticky outy very far, does it? And let's do a sticky outy here. I don't want to use that lace though. Let's do it here. Ideally, we will have some lace and trim in each signature. Um, I just like that sym the symmetry that that gives. I forgot to cut my piece before I did this. Um, I it's not going to be the same lace and trim in every one, but there's going to be some. I just, like I said, I just, I just like that symmetry of having kind of the same sorts of things rolling along in each signature. We also might do some tabs today with some fabrics. Ooh, maybe. Um, this guy. I don't know. I don't want to use a. I don't want to use a ton of him. I, but he's so. He's so big. He's so big. 
what do we want to do? Because he's not, if we do him on the side, he's not really going to be a sticky outy, is he? What do you think? What do you think? No, I don't want to do him in that signature. <laughs> I'm so indecisive. Oh, we could do him on this little flip out. Yeah, because that's the perfect width. Okay, let's do that one. Clip. Super precise measuring. And this guy, actually, because he's got this piece down the center, I, when I use this, I actually used some earlier in that other journal um, in red. Um... I just do this little piece down the side or down the center. This is not the side being dong. Okay. Boop. And then just laying down. Try and make these edges here looking nice. Doing their thing. What are you guys up to today? You guys just crafting, chilling. Anybody else got a snow day? Ugh, not a fan. My kids are happy. They're thrilled. Means they get to hang out, watch TV, do their thing all day. Bug their mom. That's what they do. Okay, let's see. Let's do this little. This is probably from Walmart, like a hundred years ago. I think they have, they may still have these. I don't, I haven't looked at Walmart for trims in a really long time. Um, but, uh, I want to say it was like a dollar maybe if that for this little, it's just a little spool. Yeah. Four feet. Um, but this was cute. Let's do this guy. He's got blue. He's got green. What am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing. I kind of liked how we did that in the other one. Do we have this guy that folds? Let's fold this guy the other way. Like this. Oh no. I know what we're going to do on this one. We're going to do the same idea, but I want a wider, a wider tab thing here. <laughs> oh, my cat's just closed the door. You guys were so upset. Get the flower. Okay. Oh, doki. Do 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 do. You guys getting ready for Christmas? You guys done with your Christmas shopping? I am absolutely not. Um. You know, I think I've told you guys I'm I'm a little bit of a Grinch with Christmas. Don't know why. Um, I think it's more like I can't get the vision in my head to become a reality, and so I just kind of become a little anti-holiday in general, which isn't the way to be. Let me tell you, that is not the way to handle when life throws you lemons, is it? No. So. It is what it is. That one's blue. That one's green. Let's do this guy. I just want to do him as a... Let's do him right here. Um, but it is what it is. And so I've been trying to do a little bit better for my kiddos. To give them, you know, more of a holly jolly Christmas. But um, I've started my Christmas shopping at least. So there's that. That's better than I've done in the last few years. Um, I'm going to do this one like I did the um, green elastic and just kind of do the, the bead down the center. Um, but anyways, so I've started my shopping, but I haven't. I'm not even close to being done. I'm, I, need to, I need to get on Amazon. My husband keeps um, kind of creeping at me a little bit. Will you order this stuff? Well, yeah. Eventually, I need to get it ordered, though, so stuff actually gets here on time. I'm a horrible procrastinator. Horrible. Okay. Let's do this guy. I like that. I think that's cute. I think that's cute, cute, cute. Okay, let's do some 
lace. These laces I got, this, these two are coffee dyed and this one's just vintage, it's just old. Um, so let's see what we've got going on here. We wanna do, let's do this guy. Ugh, I'm gonna do this one as a sticky outy. Sorry, now I got a pin in my mouth. Horrible habit, horrible habit. Um, years and years of sewing. Okay, we've got that one there, that one there. There's our center. Let's do this one at the end. Um, years of sewing means, hi Rumble, you wanna get out? There you go. Oh, you guys are gonna play, okay. I told you guys, I have to. And since it's so flippin' cold outside, all of the cats think they need to be in the house. So, between the cats and the kids, I'll be crazy by dinner time tonight. Like, I'm not already. I mean, come on now. Let's just be honest with ourselves. There we go. There's that guy. So that signature has two trims and a lace. That's good. This one has a lace and one trim. Let's do the cats are ridiculous. My son's trying to help and they're not interested <laughs> in the slightest. Um, let's do this one. Did I use navy back here? See guys, this is where I get caught up. I get like all worried about the about everything like lining up just right and having, you know, this, the, like I said, the symmetry and I need to not. So it's part of why I started this whole junk journaling process is to help get me away from that. Because you guys, there's, I mean, there's perfection and imperfection. Does that make sense? There, there's beauty and the asymmetrical and sometimes you just gotta let it be that's so pretty okay so that one has two trims and a lace so this one has one lace sticking out let's do a thinner let's do this thin lace right here The sticky out right here. I like that on these little short pages. I really do actually. See, pin in my mouth again. Stop it, Micah. One of these days you're gonna swallow it. I'm gonna hear my grandma saying that. My my grandma, um, she's passed many, you know, many years, 15 years ago, 16 years ago now. Um, but, uh, she, she was an amazing seamstress and she taught me kind of to sew when I was a little kid. Um, she cut these, you know, like six inch squares out of a, out of polyester, seventies oh, guys or eighties, early eighties, mid eighties. I was born in 79. Um, and she um, taught me to use the serger to put those together. <laughs> it was horrific. It, it, it was absolutely horrific. Um, <laughs> but I love her. And, oh, I miss her every day. I don't think about them. What do you guys think? You like that? Or, nope. Nope. I don't know. I don't know. I think we're gonna use that as a tab. Hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna dig. I'm gonna dig. Hold on. I can't I can't get my I can't get my life together today, y'all. Sorry. Oh, oh, I know, I know, I know. <gasps> Let's use this washi. I love this washi. 
so much. This is like seriously my current favorite washi. Just a nice little edge right here. Very, very pretty, pretty, pretty. I love the little coffee cups and it seriously just goes with this journal so well. So it's not really a trim technically. It's okay, Micah. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, wait. Do I have a sticky outie in that one? I do. Okay. One, two, three, four. I really feel like I want more. Well, let's do some tabs. Let's do some tabs and then we'll see how we feel about how much stuff is hanging out. Okay. So one thing I like to do with tabs, and this isn't something I've seen a lot of people um, doing otherwise, pin in my mouth, hold on, is I will take that little, this little piece of lace, and then I will layer it. Um, sometimes I layer a fabric behind or a ribbon behind or on top, which is what I think we're going to do here, is layer it on top top see because then when you bend well in theory if I can get my life together I don't even like glue them or anything I just leave them separate like this so let's find this one at home what you say oh you want to put it on the envelope would that be cute I can't know because I'm gonna well, if I staple it close enough to the edge, it won't really affect. No, I don't want to mess with the pocket. Let's put it, let's put it, put it, put it. Let's put it right here. Um, I'm going to do the stapler method. Um, I, can't, I think I got this from Liz for a day, um, probably. Um, just using, so this is, this gets a little fiddly, you guys. And actually, I just had an idea, but I'm not going to do it. In this one I'm just gonna I'm just gonna roll with what I got and do what I'm gonna do see so you just take it like this your stapler this is where it gets a little fiddly because you want to make sure that you get both pieces there we go see that flipped right up I didn't I, I didn't get it I didn't get it and I don't have a staple remover mm. Bum, bum, bum. Mm, beverage interlude while I think. Mm, I have tweezers. There we go. See, I just needed to think for a second. These little tweezers, I am 99% sure that I got them at Harbor Freight. If you guys have never gone in that store, you should. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, they have, you know, obviously they have tools and stuff for, you know, people who use tools for things, but, 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 but I have found so many things there over the years for, I'm going to show you my idea, um, for crafting, um, that's crazy cheap. This stuff right here, this is called score tape. Um, I got this off Amazon and I got, I think three rolls for, maybe five dollars um but anyway so this stuff is it's double stick tape is all it is this is the quarter inch um so i'm going to take it on this three eighths inch ribbon just tear it super simple um this thing is going to last me probably forever but i've got three holes see it comes like it comes like this score tape s-c-o-r tape um 27 yards in each of these rolls, and I got three. And like I said, I want to say it was less than $5. I could be wrong. Don't, don't hurt me if I'm wrong. I can't remember. I, I bought it months ago. See, and then it just peels right off. Trashy that. And then I'm just going to, this is just going to help me kind of keep them stuck together. I do like having them not stuck together. Um, just I kind of like the way that looks. But for intents and purposes of this video today, I want them stuck together um, so I don't have to keep wasting your time with pulling things apart. Okay, come on little, come on little, little, little thingy here. Words are hard. 
There we go. There we go. Both sides are got. Okay. There's one. Okay. Next. Did I do that? Yep. First page. So let's go right here. Let's let's grab. Oh, you know, I have this little this little bit of look at this lace. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, I got this as a remnant at Hobby Lobby. It was only like, I don't know, maybe a foot long. And um, <clears throat> it was maybe 29 cents or something. It was so cheap. Um, but I coffee dyed it. And I'm loving it. So this, see, because if I just do that, is that sticky outy too much? Yes. If I do it like this. Mm, I don't know. I'm going to save that. I'm going to save that puppy. Let's do some fabric. Let's do... Let's do this guy right here. And I'm just going to cut... I normally don't do this with my fabrics. I normally will at least do strips. Actually, actually, where's my basket? Haha, -ha. see, thank you for reminding me. I appreciate it. This is my basket of like just strips of different pieces of fabric that I have torn. Um, so these are actually all tab ready. So I'm just going to use the ones out here. That's what I'm going to do. Yay. Okay. Let's move our little basket. Let's go. Let's get some color first. Let's do this one. This is just a plain pink cotton woven. Um, just do doesn't need to be much but tear that gives it that nice frayed edge okay I love this little basket I was looking for something to hold these I saw Gail at one point had um I don't know a basket of some sort or a box that she ha has done her very similar thing here um and I loved it, so I was looking for one, and I found that little basket, and I thought that it was just super de duper cute. So we're gonna do the same thing here with just a little tab. I don't know if you know most people do tabs before they do a lot of other things. If they do it after, I don't know. This is just this is just how I'm rolling today. Okay, okay. Let's do one right here. Let's do. Let's do this one. This is a coffee dyed muslin, probably. That's what it looks like. Um, clip. Oh, tear. Oh, I think I'm going to do some seam binding on this one. Okay. There's that. Let's do. I'm working myself out of my space again. Let's do some of this. What do you guys what do you guys think? Some of this? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I like that. Go like this. And then where are we at? I try to like really stagger where the tabs are because then I feel like it makes it easier. If you know that the navy tab is where you are, you know, journaling, um, you know, if this is going to be a daily reflections journal, if you know that that's where you're journaling in March, right, then, okay, got both sides, there we go, um, then you know to go to the navy tab, right? So, I haven't decided what I want to do on the vellum yet, so those guys are just going to just gonna chill and hang out. I don't want to put a tab on there because we've got that. I don't want to put a tab there. Let's just, we can just do it back here. It's fine. Or we could do it on the cover. Why can't we do it on the cover? Absolutely can. Okay, so we've got brown, pink, blue. See, here I go. Getting like all caught up in the, in the symmetry and evenness again. Do we want some more pink? Let's do some more pink. Okay. This one, I like this one. It's a little bright, but I like it. It matches kind of the inside of those macarons. Do 
this guy. Chair. I don't know if you can hear my son in there laughing. He cracks me up. He um, he's twelve, and like I said, he's autistic, and so when he get when he gets rolling, it's it's a sight to behold, and it just cracks me up and makes me smile. <laughs> I can't help but just giggle along with him because it's just pure joy. It's just pure joy. And I love that. <laughs> okay, I'm distracted. Sorry. There we go. And then one more. Let's go. What do we got here? We've got front. Let's go with this one. And let's do... I have this kind of blue florally one. This one right here, I think it'd look nice. And then Ow. <laughs> I just cut my finger. Did you guys see that? Oh my gosh. I think I'd never used scissors before. <sighs> At least I didn't draw blood. I'm a ding dong. Okay. So, goodness, Micah. All right, I'm going to do this, but I also, I think I'm going to do some lace on this one. Um, let's do just another little piece of this coffee dye, just because it's handy. What do we have here? And I'm going to, I'm going to use the score tape on this again. Just so that. We can be a little, a little more with it. Where are we at time-wise? Um, I don't know. I can't tell. I'm too short to see. Oh, 37 minutes. Okay, so this is going to be, oh, sorry guys. There we go. Hope that's okay. Sorry I'm short. This will be the last thing we do. This will be the last bit. Okay. So, there's this. There's this. Oh, that's cute. We decided we're going to put this one up here somewhere, maybe. Make it even, Micah. Okay. Staple this guy in. And there we go. Okay, so today, see? Look how cute that is. That's cute. I may add more, even. We'll see as we go. We might add more. We'll see. So today we did tabs and trims, tabs and trims, seam binding, lots of texture. It's fun to feel. It's fun to play with. Looky there. Oh, we're making some progress, guys. We're making some progress. All right. So that's it for today. Let me close my Fabri-Tac. And um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your comments, your thumbs up. Um, subscribe to the channel. Um, we've got some more stuff coming up, obviously. Tomorrow we're going to work on some more page layouts, probably. Um, so uh, give me a shout if you have any questions, comments, complaints, uh, anything like that. Let me know and have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.